In our last session, we were introduced to the life and the works of Lawrence, Stephen, Larry. And in today's session, we're going to be looking at answering the question of how did Larry create his figures and crowns? Now, in this lesson, what we're going to try and be doing is we're going to be discussing and commenting on the figures of Larry's painting. And we're going to try and be able to recreate a figure in Larry's style before we're going to be able to be thinking about different ways we can do it and that will allow us to select and evaluate the different painting materials that we could use to create these images and we're going to begin today's session by looking at three of Lowry's paintings the Lancashire Fair, Go to the Match and Francis Street and you can find copies of these using the link on the website. Our first that picture that we're going to look at is 1946 Lancashire Fair and when you're looking at these I want you to think about what you can see does this look like a realistic picture does it have lots and lots of detail in it how do you think he actually painting and what sort of tools do you think he would have used now looking at this picture how do you think the different characters might have felt if you were to draw a thought bubble for any of those characters. Which thing would be going through their mind with that character in this painting? Remembering Lancashire Fair and what we can see around. Our second of Lowry's paintings is Going to the Match from 1928. And again, let's think about those questions. Is this a realistic image? How much detail has Lowry included? How do you think he could have painted this? what tools do you think he would have been using and again if you were to look at one of these figures and you were going to think about what they were pondering as they were doing this what would you think what would you put into a speech bubble and for our third image 1957's Francis Street. We're going to be thinking about those same questions. So is this a realistic image of what you think Francis Street would have looked like in that time? How much detail is Larry included? Is there lots and lots of detail or is it quite sparse on that? How do you think he painted this? What tools do you think he could have been using? And again, if we were looking at these and you were upon thinking about what one of the characters might have been thinking, what do you think they could be? So for example, if we looked at the boy with the dog, what do you think is going through his mind? Maybe one of the adults standing at the door or leaning out of the window. What do you think they might be thinking? So all three of these images you will find on the website and you'll be able to have a look at them in your own time and be thinking about those questions. So maybe choose one of these images and be thinking, is it a realistic picture? If that was a photograph, for example, would it be similar? How much detail has Larry included? And do you think there's a reason why certain details might have been put in there and certain bits now? How do you think he actually painted it? Do you think he was stood there watching? Do you think he did it from memory? And what tools do you think he used? So do you think he used pastels and charcoals or paints? And then what I want you to do is think about one of the characters who could be on there. And I want you to think about what that character would be thinking. So pause the video. Have a little look at the images using the link and explore those questions. So here we can see some close-ups of Lowry's paintings. And what I want us to do is think about the people that he's included. And how would you describe these pe people in the paintings? Now the people who looked at Lowry's paintings thought that he painted his characters, his figures, in a very unique way. And they labelled these as matchstick men. Now looking at these images, why do you think they got given that nickname? Why do you think the people looked at the paintings that Lowry was creating, like going to the match, and described those characters as matchstick men? 
Now on the website and below the comments of this video, you'll see there's an extra link. And what I'd like you to do now is to pause this video and to select that link because I want you to look at a video of Ellis Lowry talking about his own paintings. And in this video, he's explaining a little bit more about how he actually creates the figures that he uses. So I want you to pause the video now and have a watch that video and think about the different techniques and the different tools that Lowry used when painting his own matchstick people. Now for your main activity, what I'm going to ask you to be doing is you're going to create your own LS Lowry figures. And you can see we've got some examples of different tools that you can use. And using the link, once again, you'll be able to find some, some tutorials that will explain in a little bit more detail about how we can use these paintbrushes, glue spatulas, cotton buds, and fingers to create our own LS Lowry style matchstick people. So when using your paintbrush, for example, you'll be using different paintbrush strokes and you'll be able to dab and then you'll be able to score to put those details into your matchstick men and matchstick women. If you have a glue spreader at hand you'll be able to experiment with spreading that paint along and drawing different types of line using the edge of your glue spreader. And with your finger you'll be able to experiment with dotting and stroking to create these different shapes. Or maybe a cotton bud would be the tool of your choice for this session. So your job in a minute is going to be to go away to find your resources and your tools and to create your own L.S. Lowry style people. Now remembering the way that he said that he painted in our video, the idea that he used his mind's eye, he used his imagination and wasn't necessarily looking at things through the window to make sure they were perfect and accurate. He drew them how he felt or he thought they would appear. And just before we move on to do our independent activity, there's one final question I'd like to leave you with. Now, Ellis Lowry is quoted as saying, All my people are lonely, and crowds are the most lonely thing of all. Now, thinking about Ellis Lowry's paintings, what do you think he's meaning by this? And do you think if there's any signs of these in those paintings that he creates? So ponder those two questions, and then grab your tools, and begin creating your own matchstick men and matchstick women. Good luck and I look forward to seeing your artwork.